All right, left foot break. Oh, oh! Damn, I did that for a second. <laughs> What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Night Mode here, and we are back with another nice, fun settle course of drifting. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is actually inauguration day for America, so congratulations to President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, making us proud. <laughs> but today, all politics aside, we're gonna continue having some fun in the settle course, doing a lot of drifting. And today, we are gonna be hopping into the Evil Rabbit Car Pack. And today we're also going to be driving on a track that is uh, kind of familiar with me. I've driven it a couple times in the past, and that is HT Drift Park. We are actually going to be in a S15. So if you watch the previous videos, I tend to gravitate to the Nissans a little bit more than the other cars. Um, I don't know, I just kind of feel it out a little bit more a lot of them are very similar in the way that they are built as far as you know the creators of the car packs and all that good stuff but let's go ahead and hop in and see what we can do so for right now I'm gonna keep everything completely stuck but for this one I'm gonna leave it where it is and just see how it feels especially on this track it's very small lots of turns everywhere so I don't think we need to lower that down any bit to get a nice slide going so yeah, this seems to be a fairly new Assetto Corsa group. Um, I just joined their Discord and a lot of them are very excited about this car pack and I really wanna see what all the hype is about. So let's go ahead and do a little solo run here just to get a feel for what we got going on. So right now it feels pretty great. The sound is great. Alright, all right, so I gotta add a little bit more gas before I, I do some transitions. Kinda, oh, alright, a little bit more than that. Alright, so as you can see with the track, it's very tight, but definitely a lot of fun. Okay, like that, right there. Okay. Alright, so... This is why I tend to gravitate to Nissans, I think. Um, not to say that the other cars aren't like this, I haven't tried the other cars, but it just feels like I'm at home. It loves to be sideways, and I love to get it sideways. Some other cars sometimes it just, uh, you know, it's easy to spin out, at least with the stock settings, you know, of course you can change all that good stuff, but if it's a nice slide right out the box, that's, that's a winner for me. All right, I'm not exactly chasing this guy. I'm just kind of trying to feel it out still. Whoa. Okay, you kind of made that work. That's pretty cool how easy I could recover after doing that. All right, so now I think we're gonna follow this guy unintentionally. Oh, my B, dude, my B. Let me see how other people take this line as well. I think you went a little bit extra on the outside there. But nothing that we can't adapt to. Little e brake to get me sideways with them. Nicely on his door. And we're gonna speed back up to get onto his door just a little bit. Whoops. Ooh, okay, that was my fault. I, whoa, okay, he spun out too. All right, it happens. Because <laughs> like I said earlier, it's a new car pack. Um, relatively new at least compared to like ADC and Tando. It's been around forever. Um, but the car feels great. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like, it's very snappy. Um, naturally, you know, you can literally make any car like almost work how you want with, you know, adjustments of the settings, but out the box it's like a drift ready machine and I think this is like honestly gonna be like the new Tando you know it's not hard to drift but at the same time it has the right amount of challenge Ooh, I tried to get the wall but I missed it that's a fun one to get when you get it 
but everybody in the Discord community for this car pack, they are very cool people. I've gotten to check out, you know, some of the chats and interact with some of them, and they're very cool people, man. So this is technically my second time in this car pack and on this track with these cars. Um, as of right now, this is the only track that I know of with this uh, car pack. Ooh, nice line going right now. But, ooh, too wide, too wide. But the first time uh, I just hopped into a BRZ and um, it didn't leave a great impression on me. I can't, oops, all right, that's fine, that's fine. But yeah, it didn't leave a great impression on me, the BRZ, because one, the sound was very dull in my opinion. Oh, we almost had that one. Yeah, so the sound was very dull and I just didn't like the way it drew. But I don't think that's an evil rabbit's, you know, fault or anything like that. I'm not saying like, you know, that's a fault in general. It's just for my preference and it's very consistent across a couple of cars. Like if I were to hop into Slide Boys, which is insane. I, I messed up there. But insane amount of um, horsepower compared to, you know, these cars. It very much feels the same. That's not like my go-to car to hop into when I'm driving on like say Irwindale for instance. Oh these cars feel so much fun. It's so nice and easy to whip. Ooh, boy. I like that I don't oversteer because the way I'm driving right now, like I would have done oversteered, especially if it were to be like a WDT car pack. Like the way I'm I'm taking these turns and initiating transitions, it would have I would have been in the like the next map pretty much. Ah, but these things just like they hold their grip. And they respond exactly to everything that you do, which is awesome. Oh, messed up there. But I, I should have honestly kind of kept it. Wee! Oh, all right. Yeah, that happens. I, I, I anticipated it. I anticipated it. I was like, okay, how much can I really whip it <laughs> before I lose? But that's just, you know, an irrational kind of whip that I did, which is not realistic at all. So glad to see that it reacted the way it did all right so oh so we're gonna be following unicorn farts Let's see how these things feel chasing now that we've had a little bit of experience doing leads I like how fast it gets back on throttle. You know, sometimes with turbos especially, some of the cars want to take a while to spool back up. Whoops. But these get back on throttle rather fast, which is awesome because especially the way I drive. Ooh. Oh. That's a correction, but we're right back in it. <laughs> oh, I like the way he takes the outside line there. All right, so I gotta remember. Honestly, this is my first time following him, so. Ooh, breaking a sweat with this one. There we go. 
Uh, I should have. I should have left for break. I'm always learning. Whoop, 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 whoop. That was my fault. I should have e break there. That time I should have e break. I was kind of contemplating, like, what should I do here? All right, so I'm gonna try to kiss the wall on this one. Probably gonna lose a couple people that are following me. Okay. And we're gonna try to take the outside line a little bit later so that I can ride it more like that. And then we're gonna do an outside line on this one. Oh, kind of slipped on the gas a little bit there. So I think that's how it should be because that wall that's there is for a reason, to hit it. <laughs> hey, CJYZ. So that's one of the people that I actually interacted with on the Discord. So I'm very curious to see how he does with this track and, you know, probably try to follow him and get some nice runs in. All right, let's run it with CJ. It's an R33. I feel like, okay, he took the outside line nicely. I was just about to say, I feel like he has a lot of practice on this track. So this would be a great person to see how they choose the course that they do. Whoops. I'm doing horrible, but I'm more so just like focusing on him to be honest. Okay, so he goes on the inside. All right. I think I could go on the outside there a little bit. All right, so he kind of straightened, but that's okay. I think I know what, what he would anticipate. All right, so let's move a little closer. Let's give a nice chase now. Okay, so we want to... Huh, okay. Typically I should let I should give people about three laps to see like what what they what they typically tend to do. So I know if something was an accident or something was on purpose. Okay, I think he likes to take the inside line there. The first one that I follow him, he took the outside line. So it might have been an accident, so now I know. But he likes the outside line in the first one, and I love that because of the wall, especially. Okay, up, up, up. I was just about to say, he took the outside line there, too. I was like, that's sick. That's all right. We'll get another chase with them. Uh, oh, okay. Got the hawk from CJ. Let's make it happen. Oops, damn. Over-rotated, okay. Honestly, surprised at how rare that has happened to me so far driving these cars. That's really awesome. Or I'm just used to cars like these. I don't know what it is. All right, left foot brake. Oh, oh, damn! I did that for a second. <laughs> I did that for literally a second. Okay, 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 okay. So I think I understand how much pressure I got to put down compared to the other cards. That's okay. The brakes are great. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. This guy loves the outside line. <laughs> I love it though. I just keep got to get used to that. Yep.
Whoops, my B. Oh man, yeah, we both straightened it a little bit there. I tried to give him room to transition. transition. Match angle. There we go. Nicely on his door there. Let's go. Woo! A little bit, a little bit early I turn. I, 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 like I said, I need to remember he goes wide there. You had that, you had that, you had that, bro. What happened? No. That was gonna be a sick one if he rolled that wall. Ooh, I think we could get it. I hope you guys enjoyed that whole car scene with Evil Rabbit. Um, overall, I I recommend these cars to be honest, especially when they get more tracks added to their server. Uh, these cards are honestly, in my opinion, going to be the next Tando in the sense of entry level, but a little bit more advanced than entry level. Tando is just, you know, it's, it goes, but these are like, it goes, but you got to work with it a little bit harder in order to get it to go. No offense to Tando. Absolutely no offense. It is what it is. You know what I mean? So it's like literally that. But overall, I think these cars are really great. And definitely, if you do have the opportunity to, I found, all right, so the only thing that I found a little bit challenging was uh, finding the car packs to actually download, you know? Because if, for most car packs, I just, you know, Google search it, it'll be there. But with this one, it didn't necessarily pop up with the Google search that easily at all. Um, long story short, I had to go into their Discord I had to find their Discord, go into their Discord, find where they have the downloads, and then download it. So, um, if Evil Rabbit's team is watching, that would be the only thing I would say to make it a little bit easier on everybody. Um, I totally understand that you want people to come into your Discord with, you know, the, cir the circumstances that it seems to be right now. But at the same token, you know, kind of make it like other packs, you know, make it a little bit easier, a little bit more accessible. Maybe open up a Facebook page and have the link there. Maybe it's there, but like I said, when I tried to search for it, um, the way that I usually do, it wasn't, you know, like, okay, first link I could click right here and it'll pop up. So, um, I don't know, but maybe you guys can figure out a little bit of an easier way for others to be able to hop on. I see the track has up to 16 racers. So that's really dope. I mean, I could see the discord has a lot of people in there, so I'm sure it gets filled pretty quickly. Um, would love to see more tracks with these cars and yeah overall I think it's just a lot of fun it's a big blast and I think it has a lot of potential of you know knocking out a lot of the heavy hitters with their car packs in the scene right now so um, with that like I said you know it's not so much to hit on another car pack or hit on another team or whatever the case is it's just more so more options honestly more options this is why we're on here this is why we're doing what we do you know and i want to go into a whole spiel but at the same token we're we have the luxury of being able to drive cars of many different makes and models and um setups all together you know so i think that uh the more that this is available the more that people will be able to have fun with it and ultimately learn how to drift because i'm always looking for new people to learn how to drift with and i say learn for myself because i'm always learning if you think that you got it all <laughs> you ain't got shit <laughs>
thank you again to evil rabbits for welcoming me into the discord server i feel truly welcome it's a great community you guys should definitely check them out and uh definitely check out this card pack it's a lot of fun like i said so with that i hope you guys have a great day happy drifting and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace